Okay, as you can see, the main structure is up. There's still loads and loads of work to do. Um, one of the things I'm doing at the moment is we are choosing a point on the side of the building. We're going to take one of the panels out and we're actually going to turn that into a door because I want a door into the observatory I'm going to be building here. I'm not going to have any external doors to it, just an internal door from inside the office so it's got nice, nice security because, of course, the only way into the office is through the multi-locking uh, double glazed doors. So it's going to be really secure. Um, and obviously if I've got anything really big that won't go through the little door I'm going to build, can always go over the top with the roll off roof uh, open. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, today. And uh, we're going to start laying the cables and everything ready for sockets and things. And then I'll get an electrician in to do the uh, connections. Um, and yeah, and then, oh, the other thing we're going to do is start putting some of the fascias on. So uh, that's what we're up to. So going to get on with it. Are we cutting here, do we reckon? I think so. Or one down just to give us a bit of playroom? Well, you know you're going you're to be able to get in from there. Let's go, go there. That. And then we know... That's going to be the top of the door. It's the one with it. It's the one with it. Yeah, that's the one with it. Do that. Belt and braces. Belt and braces, because you know what we like at measuring? We're bloody good. It's only when we can, can do any conversion from Imperial to that does cause problems. Thank you for the tea, Shirley. Smile for the camera. You'll be in me outtakes. <laughs> Cheers. Right then. Right, hi everyone, and uh, just a little update today. So um, this is all the timber from my shuttering that I've kind of cleaned off and uh, put to the side. And I'm gonna be using that as the framework. I'm gonna strip it down the middle, the six by uh, twos, to make them three by twos. Strip it down the middle. I'm gonna use that as a framework for my observatory build. So really pleased to uh, get that all over there. I'm going to take you over to the structure. So, I've been doing quite a lot of work, but uh, there's still absolutely loads to do, but it's coming along nicely. Um, it's a really nice building, actually. I, um, I bought this from uh, Dunster House, um, which are online. Um, really good company, nice to deal with. As I say, everything turned up, delivery guys were really nice, and the quality, I, I must say, is really good. Everything is pressure treated, guaranteed for a minimum of 10 years. 
The UPVC uh, units are like they're a 28 mil gap. They're they're really high quality. Um, I really like the fact they're coming in a, a, an anthracite finish, which I really like. I think it complements the building well. Got loads of trim to put on. There's one bit of trim, so it's gonna really be neat and tidy when it's finished. And I've got loads of trim here. This is all the trim uh, to finish the outside and also around the doors. But I'm at a stage where I've got the wall panels here. These are the insulated wall panels. So you've got your cladding on the outside. And this is the, I just wanted to show you this actually, the door that me and my father-in-law made yesterday. And this is going to be the entrance into what will be the observatory with the roll off roof. So um, I had to work out a rough idea of height uh, because the roll off roof is gonna be lower than this main roof, um, but there's gonna be another roof because it's gonna join the two buildings together and I need there to be a, an overlap of those two roofs. So this had to be below both. So I, I maybe went one lower than I had to panel wise, maybe two lower panel wise, but I thought, do you know, I don't mind doing a little bit of ducking to get in and out. It's not something I'm gonna be coming into that much, but it's actually not a bad size hole at all. It's uh, compared to me, as you can see, it's not that much to duck under. I might have to put a bit of foam across it so I don't bang my head too often. So I'm really pleased with that. I do also have a plan in my head to include a window as well. Um, so I've got a view into the observatory. I'm not sure whether this side or the other side, but that's something I can add at a later date. So the, these are the wall units that I've next got to put on and I've got 25 mil of insulation and then it's like a sort of plasterball type finish on top that's uh, paintable. So a really nice finish. Uh, the roof, well, I'm really pleased with them. They're 100 mil Celotex. Uh, panels with a metal skin on the top and on the bottom and the bottom metal skin is plastic coated um, so the finish is absolutely lovely um, and I've got a light fitting that I'm going to be putting in the middle there uh, some spotlights actually it's down there on the floor uh, didn't go mad little little 12 pound jobby from screw fix which uh, to be honest with you it, it really doesn't need to uh, spend any more but before I put the wall panels on, it's a good job, or it'd be a good idea, to get the wiring in place for all the plug sockets and the lights. Um, so there's no power up here yet. So I'm gonna lay the cables for the plug sockets and everything, so that they're all in place and they're out of the way. And that'd be nice, because it'll be better than having everything on the surface in conduit and everything. So um, that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I hopefully get that completed. Um, and then uh, once the observatory starts to be built, because I'm going to have a consumer unit put in there to feed that room and this room, that's when I'll then get an electrician in to uh, connect everything up, check it all over and give it a certificate. So uh, that's, my, uh, that's my plan. So today I'm going to be doing drilling some holes and feeding some wiring. So uh, yeah, that's my job.
Right, so I've got a visitor today. It's uh, my my uh, go-to for all building advice, and that is Simon from Simon's Astro. Do you like it, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got here? I'm uh, just showing him around the build that I've been working on that you've all been watching and uh, what do you think? Uh, very impressed. <laughs> yeah, you've done a marvellous job, Glenn. It's going to be a lovely space when it's all finished. Uh, it's, it's, it is a really nice yeah. building, actually. <laughs> and Simon's actually come over. We're having some chats about the observatory construction, aren't we? Yeah, we've and got how, some good ideas. How are we going to go about that? It's uh, going to work nicely. And I'm telling you now, if you've not checked out Simon's YouTube channel, Simon's Astro, you really should because he's done an absolutely stunning uh, observatory build. Uh, honestly, I'd live in it. It's that <laughs> nice. So um, it's not as big as yours, though, Glenn. It does it's not about the size, Simon. It's not about oh. so. Honestly, your your observatory sure? is quality, and uh, it's oh, a thanks, really mate. really nice build. Simon's a, a very talented builder, so uh, definitely check it out because uh, if you're thinking about doing anything like this, uh, there'll be some great tips of how to do it and what what sort of things oh. you can achieve. Appreciate You've done it. Well, it's, it's my pleasure. You've done a great job, and. Uh, the fact I've got you on hand to help me with this <laughs> is 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 a is a, a, a gift, as I say. Yeah. yeah so uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with how everything's going. The guard dog's here, so uh, anybody thinking of coming to nick it, be careful. She'll lick you to death. Um, and that's it. So uh, we've had a lot of work done. Uh, we're doing quite well yesterday. It was a long, long day yesterday, where I did all the lining of the walls. Uh, with my father-in-law and we put all the electrical wires in place and uh, today Simon's actually going to help me I'm very lucky uh, he's going to help me bring up all the floor panels I'm going to put the floor down today um, and I'd like to get that done so that's it so uh, we'll speak to you later